Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am making a display jewelry case for my sister. She just she's gonna be a paparazzi um jewelry, I guess associate. She's gonna start selling jewelry. And these cases were forty dollars and she didn't want to spend forty dollars. So me being the person I am, I said I probably could uh, make you one for less than forty dollars. I said twenty five, but let me tell you that twenty five dollars is gone. Because this pegboard was, I had to get two of them. They were $8 each, so that's $16. And this wood, I didn't get the 2 by 4 that she had on her paper. I got the one by some Anyway, it was cheaper. And it was like $6. So that's $14 right there. Then I had to buy some more spray paint. That's another $5. Then I had to buy some hinges. So, anyway, them $25 are gone. You probably could do it for less than $30. You save about $10. But anyway, I wanted to challenge myself. And I'm going to be honest with you. This right here, it don't look like it. But this this little board right here is hard to put together. Look at how thick that um, pegboard is. Then you had to get all your dimensions right. They gave you the in the, um, the um, YouTube video we watched. It said 24 inches across by 32 inches on the side so if you cut your wood the same length as this pegboard your trimming is not going to be right so when he was getting ready to cut it i said wait a minute 24 by 32 that's not right so i came back home and measured inside and this wood right here across here is actually like 22 and a half because you got to account for this spacing right here right here because see if you do 24 hour across your your wood is going to be on the outside and so this is the result i'm glad i thought about that thank you jesus for a little wisdom and these are the boards so i'm getting ready to paint them i'm gonna do them all black and i'm gonna try this little spray snapping spray nozzle i'm gonna put this on top of the spray can see how that works and I'll be back. Got my sp uh, sp spray snap or whatever it's called on top of the can. It just pops over the top right there. And you see where it's just going to press down. Where you normally will put your hand, this little lever right here is going to do it for you. And we'll see. How this works. It's a little windy out here. So I'm going to put that on the end right there. I don't want the um, thing to be flying up. Here we go. Let's try it on this first. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I gotta get a little closer. I'll be back. This look like this gonna take a while. All right, I'm finished with the first coat. This little gadget is wonderful. It makes it much easier to paint, especially if you got a large surface like this. All right, everybody, I got both of the boards spray painted black. The paint says it dries in 10 minutes, but it does not. Maybe on certain surfaces, but with this wood, this wood is very porous, meaning you need two to three coats because it soaks up all your paint as you spray paint it. So I'm going to let it dry for about an hour. And I'll be back when I assemble it. I'm tired too.